In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to um, change uh, the bearings in um, a brushless RC motor. Now this is a RC timer motor. It doesn't really matter. They're all basically um, constructed the same. And um, I have purchased some new bearings from Boca Bearings. Uh, they're precision. Um, you can get them at Boca.com, BocaBearings.com. <clears throat> and in there, they come. You can buy them in different forms, but uh, for this motor, I had pre-ordered these, and I'm going to take out two. What I like about these bearings is that they, they come sealed, they grease sealed, so you never have to worry about uh, packing them with uh, um, grease or oiling them in the future, just basically replace them. You need a few tools for this job, uh, a pair of needle nose pliers. I use this small screwdriver um, flathead to remove the clip on the back of the uh, motor. Now there are special tools for removing clips but I don't have one so I have to uh, improvise. Um, I use this pin to force out the old bearing um, if it's really pressed tight. It's not recommended. It's better if you use a uh, brass pin or something soft but again I don't have it so I'm using what I have. Um, this is not ne necessarily required but I have it just in case um, I, I need to to do something with it. It's also great for removing the um, uh, the clip too. Um, it just depends on uh, the mood. Now <clears throat> I also have a vise which I'll show later that I use um, to protect the uh, stator uh, when I take out the bearings. First thing we want to do, we want to remove the uh, clip. Now, <clears throat> also, when removing the clips, I strongly recommend using a pair of uh, glasses because um, that clip is spring material and it can um, jump um, unexpectedly. And if it gets lost, then you'll have to order a new clip. So. The thing that I do, the technique that I do with it is, I take and point it downwards, and then I use the um, the flat end of the screwdriver and put it into one of these slots, and then I kind of pry it off. Okay. Pry it off as such. That way, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm having a little problem here. Okay. Uh, there it comes. There it is. And let it drop down so that way I don't lose it. There's my clamp. The next thing I do is um, <clears throat> I pull the bell from the housing carefully. Okay, it's the magnetic that keeps it in place. <laughs> and I set the bell aside and now comes the um, the usage of the vise if you don't have a vise then anything that will hold uh, the motor in place I do it this way so that it will rest on the housing and, but then just snug with the just snug enough to keep it from moving against the stator so that way it's square and it's not going to take any chance of uh, smashing in any wires or anything like that now I take this this dowel pin and I insert it like such and if I can push it out with my hand I will now the back one came out pretty easy and the front one it's not so easy. Now again I'm just using my garage tools and you have to be extremely careful with this because you can apply too much pressure and I hold it, I now I 
take the edge and I put it against the wall and I tap lightly on each side forcing the bearing out. There we go. And I remove the um, the vise and there's my bearing. Now while I have it in this position I can take well the on this particular motor the housing is is it's a little bit oversized so the bearing fits in fairly fairly easily. I remove it from the vise, flip it over and just kind of where that it will sit there and I take the new bearing and sit it here. Now on this side There was one additional tool that I use. I like to use this because it has the uh, uh, soft handle, uh, soft head, so that I don't apply too much pressure. I try to hold it square, and I tap it lightly to get the bearing in. Now the thing is, we want it to fit flush, and the reason why I use this is so that it doesn't smash into any of the um, uh, the, the windings, the stator windings. Okay. Now this bearing is not still not fitting flush, <clears throat> and this is where I'll use this uh, dowel again and kind of put it on the edge, the very edge, and tap it in. Now the bearing is fitting flush, and from this point, all that is required is to uh, take the housing. Let me move this vice uh, out the way. and ever so slightly let it come back together make sure the bearing on the rear side is there take the retainer clip place it into place in the slot or the groove and then take your needle nose pliers and kind of force it on there it is so your bearings have nice and bit been replaced.